guys welcome back i told you guys i will be back with another video and i told you that it was gonna be my face routine so that is what i'm doing today thank you for tuning in let's go ahead and get started so basically right now as you can tell i'm applying my foundation the foundation that i'm using is my makeup forever ultra hd foundation in the color y455 i am applying that with my real technique sponge um as of right now these are two of the items that i'm like loving to do my face with i used to use my beauty blender but as of right now the makeup i'm sorry the real technique <laughs> i'm all messed up right now but the real technique sponge is like what's giving me life right now it's amazing it's bomb and then it's five dollars so that you know keeping a little coin in my pocket i'm okay with also let's talk about this foundation I love this foundation. I had always wanted to try the Makeup Forever foundation and I ended up buying the stick first because I seen someone talk about the stick. So I went and bought that and then I went to like a makeup event. So I bought the liquid foundation and when I tell you I love it, I love it. It. And especially right now, being that my face is, you know, a little crazy now that the weather is changing, it's like perfect for me right now. So, as of right now, this is the foundation that I'm using. So next, I'm going to conceal my face. Of course, the concealer that I'm using is LA Girl Pro Conceal, but I'm using the color Warm Honey this time instead of Cool Tan. I've just been loving Warm Honey lately instead of Cool Tan. It mixes better with the second concealer that I use, which you'll see later on. But right now, that is the concealer that I'm applying. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get into trying different concealers, but right now, of course, everybody loves LA Girl Pro Concealer, so if it's not broke, you know, don't try to fix it or whatever the saying is. And right here, I brought my old Beauty Blender bag. Um, I'm using a nude Beauty Blender to blend out that very first concealer. Okay, so to set this concealer, I did spray my Beauty Blender with some setting spray and I'm just patting that onto the very first concealer just to help that dry and so it just won't be like concealer on top of concealer. As that is drying, I am going to go ahead and start contouring my face. I am using a foundation stick. This is the Maybelline foundation stick. And to blend that foundation out, I'm going to use the Real Technique sponge. I'm using the back of the sponge. If you ever seen that sponge, do you know it's like different sides to that sponge? I'm using the back part of it that's um, next to the flat part. <laughs> that's really bad explaining, but if you've seen that sponge, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, 
as you see, I'm doing pat emotions. I rather just like pat my foundation and my concealers and everything. I rather pat that onto my face rather than sweeping it onto my face and wiping it on my face. Cause basically I'm wiping off the product I apply before this one, basically. So it just defeats the purpose to wipe it because you're just wiping off every product that you just put on your face. So it's just so much better to just pat it on and you know, just do it that way. Beat your face. I mean, it's called beating your face for a reason. <laughs> anyway, so I'm applying the second concealer now that the first one has dried. I am applying creamy beige. I applied creamy beige second because it's a little lighter. So I did go back. I am gonna mention that that I did go back and add a little bit of warm honey because I put a little bit of a cream, a little bit too much of the creamy beige. And if I put too much, then I'm just looking really scary. And that's not the look I'm going for. So as I was saying, that is the concealer that I apply. Um, and now I'm just blending it out with the Real Technique sponge. concealer with a setting powder I usually don't do this as much because right now my skin is like super dry and setting powders are supposed to make your skin more matte so I you know I just did it for video purposes I usually wouldn't set it because like I said my skin has been changing so much now that it's becoming warmer outside and if you heard that that's my dog <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wipe this away. And I'm gonna have me a little dance party. I, it wasn't, you know, I did have the audio turned down, but I didn't want you to think that I was crazy. So I turned it back up. Looking jealous and crazy, jealous and crazy. like being walked all over Yes, I am enjoying my Lemonade album. It's amazing, but we're gonna go ahead and get back into the video. Right now, I am setting my foundation this time. I'm setting it with a, um, I'm actually setting this with, I think this is a contour color, to be completely honest, but it was not light enough. I mean, it was not dark enough, excuse me. It was not dark enough, so I've been using it to set like my entire face and I put a little bit in my contour area because it does give like a slight tint. So yeah, I've been using it for a little bit of everything. Let's just say that. shimmer um i'll list it down below but it looks like zebra print with pink and brown and silver and gold mixed together but it's like so pretty
course, because I'm extra, I'm adding another highlighter on top of that. This is the Champagne Pop by Becca. Of course, this is my favorite. It's so gorgeous. And it just looks amazing. And both of these colors together look amazing. So, as of right now, this is my favorite. Cosmetics blush palette. I'll list that down below as well. Okay, so as you can tell, I did my eyeliner and mascara off of camera, but um, everything else I did on camera, um, I did add on some earrings. Um, yeah, so basically, this is the full look. This is what I would do if I was putting on foundation and I wanted to be you know like a full glam it's not like over the top extra it's not what i would do if i was going out at night this is what i would do if i am going just you know out during the day hold on if i'm just going out during the day this is the foundation routine that i would do if i do my night routine it's a little bit extra this is the full video i hope you guys enjoyed it um hope to see you in my next video if you did like it please thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed if you are brand new to my channel um my next video i'm thinking would be like a curly hair routine type um maybe different ways that i'm that i do my curly hair because you know right now i'm kind of loving my little afro that i got going on so i will see you guys in my next video thank you for stopping by Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.